Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. I'm Kulikan Dragoon. In the last episode, we've been making our way through the glacial area here in the game. I can not for the left mirror, Cashew Glacier or something like that. And we just defeated a major enemy, the Windigo, at the end of last episode. And now we can go on to Fanvel's Tower, where Queen Teresa is at. So let's go ahead and move on forward. We have to stop Lloyd from getting all of the... Moon objects. <laughs> I don't know why, but my brain suddenly just had a short circuit and I could not think of what I was doing. Look. Hey, look, guys, it's the tower. This is the Tower of Fanvel. It is a ruined place where the moon mirror was placed. It's a swirl. Again, it doesn't seem to be built by humans. No, it's not. According to the legends, it was a wingly's floating fort during the dragon campaign, I heard. You know, Rose. <laughs> this thing can fly? I don't even know whose voices I'm doing anymore. I'm certainly not doing the ones in the lineup. Wingleys have the past used an enormous amount of magic power. Then, it wouldn't be strange if this much magic power is concealed in the divine moon objects. For the people of Sardio, for King Zor, and for Princess Emily. <laughs> nope. This is a life or death matter for all of Endinus. It's even more of a reason. We must stop the ambitions of Lloyd here. Alright, give me back control. There we go. And give me control there for a second. What are you? Of course you can't carry any more amps. We got a couple of attack items that we're not going to use. Let's get rid of them. <laughs> I've got three of them. You to you. Anything useful. Rave Twister. No. <laughs> I literally... I'm getting rid of items I don't want and picking up items I don't want. It's just a never-ending cycle now, isn't it? What are you? Spirit Ring. That actually sounds useful. What does that do? Recover SP every turn. Well, it's not going to go on the other two. Nope, we're not dropping his attack down that his defense down that much, though. Okay, so now we have more teleporters here. And more of this. And hello. We're gonna fight a woolly mammoth. Or just a mammoth, apparently. You can't call it woolly. I shall capture you, and I shall name you Wooly, and you shall be my Wooly. <laughs> yes. Oh, come on, that was terrible. Um. <sighs> Stinky breath. I think that's a stun attack. Yep. But it missed, so la 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 la. Hopefully that doesn't bode as bad as when I actually get up to the boss for here. There we go, that's a little better. Didn't finish, but at least now it's dead. And I found out that during the Windigo battle, we actually finished enough of Blazing Dynamo to get it leveled up. So Blazing Dynamo is now at its second to last level. And what this means is that its damage is now on par with the Hex Hammer. Oh, man. This is going to get trippy, isn't it? I don't know where I'm going. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Alright, what about you? You're going to take me up. Yes. Haha, <laughs> I did it. I think. What are you? Something useful. Mage Ring. That probably means I'm going to recover MP, doesn't it? So that seems to be a... Recover MP each turn. Yep. The only person I'd really want to put that on would be Miranda. Because she would have the most useful... Um, that'd be most useful for her. But I don't want to put that on Miranda because she's got the Phantom Shield. And we're back to the one of these again. 
Okay, we already know where the other one goes. Where do you go? I go to one with absolutely no others. So you're worthless. Let's try you then. <laughs> Apparently that worked. I guess. Yay, we made it. I see the safe point. The moon mirror is in there. Wow, that's creepy looking. And that's not good. The Dracoon spirit of the Divine Dragon is resonating. Great. <laughs> Lloyd, finally we cornered him. Meru, why did you get your wings out? <laughs> so now that we know below for a fact Lloyd's there, unfortunately, this also means that he knows we're here. Not all that surprising, but still could be considered a pain in the rear. Let's get up there. Get into a bottle. Come, Lloyd. The time has come for us to finish this. Ooh, good. Now Lloyd's got armor. I appreciate your cooperation. What? What are you? Lloyd! Here they are. The Divine Moon Objects. I just got all three Divine Moon Objects. Now the world will be reborn into the utopia that Emperor Diaz and I desire. The world will be reborn? What are you talking about? You should know, Your Majesty. The evolutionary plan created by the Great Will, Soa. And the flow of evolution woven by the Divine Tree. You humans are merely the 106th in the plan. And we Wingleys are the 107th in the plan. I desire the 108th evolution. I desire a utopia created by the last species. For that, I will use every conceivable means. Lloyd... That's all you want to say? I'll let my sword say the rest. Shall we finish up? So yeah, this goes back to basically the 108th species. He wants them to come forth from the Divine Tree. So now we finally get the epic battle against Lloyd. And I would not suggest going to Ragoon because he does have... The Dragon Buster. I don't think it's every time, but there's a possibility that he will basically one-shot you. So. <laughs> ah, shoot. <laughs> Come on. We can do this. It'd be really great if I could actually do anything with my additions. The backgrounds here are just not going to be useful for me, are they? What are you doing? Oh, this is going to hurt. This is probably going to hurt a lot, isn't it? Jeez, oh, Pete, his attacks take forever. <laughs> we get it. You can do magic. 696 misses on Dart, and Miranda took almost no damage. So, that's a thing. <laughs> oh, we've seen that ability before from Lennis. Which item are you picking, and who are you using it on? Okay, this is the light beam, if I remember correctly. So this should miss, miss, and 261. I'm not impressed, Lloyd. Come on, Asha, let's punch him. Oh man, what is up with me? Well, it's hard to see, but... I have gotten off of the flow of my attacks again. That's never a good thing.
in case you haven't quite guessed yet, Loy is very much of a magic boss. That's what he likes to use. Lots and lots of magic. <laughs> and against two of my characters, I don't really need to flinch too much. That was a physical attack. And only 260 damage. Oh, come on. <laughs> I almost had that one finished. That was 900 damage. I could probably do over a thousand damage if I finished my additions. Five hundred and fifty-three. Two hundred. And he's already in the other. Yeah. And also that will occasionally happen too. Remember way back when we fought him in the champion? ships of the uh, strongest and endedness. He would dodge all our attacks. There's still a possibility that he will just flat up dodge your attacks. But, you know, not something I'm super concerned about considering... Yeah, we've almost got him down. He's under 50% health. I, for the life of me, cannot finish my additions and it's slowly driving me nuts, but I think we can manage. Yes. Oh, come on. Too slow. <laughs> Why are you picking on Hashchill? It was because he did you so much damage. <laughs> and another one. So you're going to do light magic again? Or are you going to pick something different? Oh, nope. We're now we're doing wind magic on Hashchill. This, uh, this could actually hurt. 522. <laughs> and yes, there's a reason I made sure that while all those episodes back, I gave that Shelby double health. Because <laughs> he's been taking a beating, and he's just now gotten down into the danger zone. Yes. Ah, shoot. And Lloyd is in the red. <laughs> you will not survive, Floyd. Lloyd. Lloyd, 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 Lloyd. And that should do half damage of 260. <laughs> Miranda, would you shoot him again in the face? Would you stop missing, Miranda? <laughs> We're just gonna have you keep guarding for right now. Oh, come on. I cannot wait till I'm out of this area. I can actually see these boxes again. 135. No, I am not trusting the fact that I don't care if you're only in the yellow. You will fall, Lloyd. You will fall, and you're going to die. You're almost there now. Yes. Oh, come on. I am doing terrible at this. And how are you not dead yet? <laughs> I swear, we put him into red a long time ago. He's not even using a lot of, like, the massive magic attacks now, which is kind of weird. Yes. Tennis, go. Tennis. Tennis, go. Finally! Tennis. Finished it. 866. I'm pretty sure that'll finish you off. If it doesn't, I'll be very surprised. It didn't. <laughs> and we're back to this magic attack again. Oh, man. So many times, this magic attack has to be at least 30 seconds long. I've got Hastril's defending, so it's already going to do only half damage to him. Dart and Miranda have their 
Phantom Shields, and Dart has a Legendary Gasp, so literally the other two are not going to take much damage from this anyway, if it even hits Dart. 176 is the best you can do. You're going to defend, you're going to defend, and we're just going to leave the rest of this for Dart. How much damage did that do? 266. Dart is still in the 2000s. Not by much, but it doesn't matter. Still has it. Oh, come on. Oh, sure, that finished it. We win. Because we're awesome. Well, that was somewhat anticlimactic. <laughs> Please, forgive Lloyd. <laughs> uh, girl, I know he saved you a couple of times, but he's killed a lot of people. <laughs> he's responsible for an entire war. <laughs> but we get 12,000 XP from him, so you know. <laughs> if we would get really lucky, Dart would level up twice, <laughs> considering he was, like... He was under 100 points before he was going to level up again. But I doubt that I'm going to get that much from this fight. Oh, good. Astro's up to level 33. Most people are down there leveling up. That's closer to the level that you normally would be at here. What do we have here? Miranda is just a little over 300 points away. Dart is still just under 2,000 points away. That stinks. I was hoping to have Dart up to <laughs> level 38 before the end of this, but maybe not. Albert, don't you need to be upstairs? Lloyd killed Lavitas. I trust Dot with everything. He will bring us the right answer. I agree. I feel the same way. Ditto. So basically, everybody left except for Lloyd, Dart, and the third sister. <laughs> wink? I think this one's Wink. I always forget which one of them is which. <laughs> I know I'm a terrible person, but... Why did you shield me? I took many people's lives away from my own ideal. And the Divine Moon Objects. I used you. It is Wink! Ha! I wasn't completely insane. Even if it is the truth. It is the truth. And the fact you saved me is still true. Yes, but so is the idea that he just killed thousands of people. He has initiated wars. Tried to do a coup de grace in Derboa. Besides, your death won't solve anything. No, but it might make me feel better. <laughs> Shana was taken away. You could have started with that. <laughs> What'd you say? By a man named Emperor D. Oh, great. <laughs> he told us to bring the three divine moon objects and Lloyd and come to Velweb. Yeah, anybody who thought the disc was done, you're wrong. <laughs> Emperor Diaz. The man who supposedly led the humans in the dragon campaign is back. <laughs> Emperor Diaz. 
Finally, he's begun to take action by himself. Now, take them to him. Uh, you're coming too, Lloyd. Even without me, my utopia will be built by Emperor Diaz. Lloyd, 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 Lloyd. You should never trust other people for something like that. I completed all my tasks. Now, I have to settle for what I have done so far. Kill me, and go to Velweb. I dedicate my death to your departure. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Throws his sword backwards and decks Lloyd right in the face. <laughs> Is it out of pity? Your death won't bring anybody who died back. Lloyd, I'm gonna make you see it through to the end. Well, go back and get your sword, Dart. <laughs> Passion. Is this the power that drives them? Well, it's the power that drives him, at least. I, lost, I still always love that. Dark throwing his sword back and just decking Lloyd in the face. <laughs> I wonder how everybody else would have taken it. So what'd you do? I punched Lloyd. Shana was, I see. When we go there, we can reveal the truth about the Emperor Diaz. Whoever he is, he is dangerous. Besides, it is unforgivable to take Adia Shana as a hostage for his utopia or whatever. Uh, it's more complicated than that. Exactly! Oh, beat him up, whoever he is. <laughs> Queen Teresa, we are heading to Velwip, and we need the moon. I understand. I will let you have the moon mirror. Maybe we were in denial, surrounding ourselves with a comfortable life that really was a stagnant. Yes, we humans are not the only species. And all species were given life by Soa's plan. Now is the time to remember. The assault of the divine dragon, the existence of wheelies, and the divine moon objects, the utopia that Lloyd and Emperor Diaz desire. And you, dragoons. Everything is forcing us to remember it, as if things were manipul manipulated by some great will called fate. Even so, I don't care. I will take Shanna back even from fate. Huh. Miranda, you are one of the dragoons. Go with Dart. Discover the meaning of the fate given by Soa. <laughs> We're going to fight fate and sever the chains. Because <laughs> we kind of need to. Things are going to get really complicated from here on out. <laughs> yeah... Can I ask you one question? Yes. Why did you save Wink twice? I had no reason for doing that. I see. Acquired the Moon Mirror, the Moon Dagger, and the Moon Gem. So now we have all of the Divine Moon Objects, and Lloyd's are going to be accompanying us with for at least a little while. and. I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here, guys. In the next episode, we will be traveling onwards towards Velweb, which is the final area in the third disc of Legend of Dragoon, so we can meet up with Emperor Diaz and make him pay. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and take care.